Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is how to calculate your daily protein intake. And today you find out the answer. My name is Abuzar Habibiniya. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sports Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a weekly basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sports nutrition. One of the questions that we get a lot is this, how do I calculate my daily protein intake? How do I know if I am getting enough protein? Please remember something important that 15 to 20% of your total daily calories should come from protein. And your daily protein intake depends on four factors. Your age, your body weight, your level of physical activity, I mean, if you are exercising or not, and if you are exercising, actually, what type of sports, and finally, medical conditions, if you have any. Okay, I have put them already on the board for you, and we're going to review together. Up to six months old, the person is going to need 2.2 grams per kg. From 6 months old to 12 months old, the person is going to need 1.6 grams per kg per day. From 1 to 6 years old, you're going to need 1.2 grams per kg per day. And from 7 to 12 years old, you're going to need 1 gram per kg per day. And teenagers, from uh, 13 to 19 years old, you're going to need 0 0.9 grams Per kg per day and adult let's say a healthy adult the person doesn't have any medical condition and the person doesn't exercise is gonna need 0 0.8 grams uh, per kg okay I'm gonna mark this one this is something that it's called RDA 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 stands for a recommended daily allowance we have RDA for macronutrients, micronutrients, like vitamins and minerals. Uh, okay, there are lots of controversials about RDA. Lots of experts believe that RDA is too low to support someone's, you know, optimal health. That's why they call it the recommended death on ones. Okay. Uh, I was saying that an adult, a healthy adult, is going to need 0 0.8 gram per kg per day. But remember uh, something important in here that women, those are basically, they get pregnant and during breastfeeding period, they're going to need more. If a, woman, if a woman gets pregnant and during breastfeeding period, we're going to increase protein intake. We're going to increase 25 grams on top of this. Let's say a woman is 60 kg, the person is going to need 48 grams protein a day based on this. And if the person gets pregnant and during breastfeeding period, we're going to add 25 grams protein on top of those 48 grams. So the person is going to need about 73 grams protein a day. And kidney failure. If someone has kidney problem, you know, kidney problem is different than kidney failure. Kidney failure is a kind of kidney problem, but not every kidney problem is kidney failure. So if someone has kidney failure, but the person is not on dialysis, total daily protein intake is going to go down. So the person is going to need 0 0.6 grams per kg per day. But if the person has kidney failure and the person goes on dialysis, protein intake has to go up. The person is going to need 1.2 grams per kg per day. Because when someone is on dialysis, the person, we call it, is on catabolic state. So the person is going to need more protein intake. And for weight management, protein intake, I'm sure you know, has to go up. You're going to need 1.5 grams per per kg per day. Basically, if you are trying to lose weight, your daily protein intake has to go up at least 50%. Let's say you are 100 kg, and the, per the protein you're gonna need based on this one is gonna be 80 grams a day, right? So if you are trying to lose weight, 80 grams protein per day is not enough. 
that amount has to go up. You have to increase 50% at least. That means you're gonna need about 120 grams protein a day, you know, to give a kick into your body metabolism. And if you have any metabolic stress, for example, if you have a fever, burn, infections, a trauma, your total uh, daily protein intake is gonna go up. You're gonna need 1.5 grams of protein, you know, uh, per kg per day. And in here, in the other side, we have those people that they are physically active. If you are doing, you can see here, if you are doing exercise, you know, just for fun, we call them if you are a recreational exerciser, you're gonna need 1.2 grams per kg per day. And if you are doing endurance sports, let's say you are a marathon runner, you are have, you're gonna run half marathon, right? Uh, I don't know, you're gonna do, let's say, triathlon, you're gonna need 1.4 grams per kg per day. And if you are doing ball sports, let's say you are doing soccer, basketball, volleyball, you're gonna need 1.6 grams per kg per day. And if you are doing strength sports, you are doing weightlifting, bodybuilding, powerlifting, you're gonna need two grams per kg per day. Now you know actually how we calculate someone's daily protein intake based on age, body weight, level of activity, and medical condition. We make science easy to understand, now you know. If you don't wanna miss our weekly video, you can subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube. To support us, you can share, like, or comment on this video. Until next time, Stay safe, stay connected.